So let's look closer on our tool options. And you notice as a main, we have a tool and we have a small divider right here going behind. This is divider it's separated on the properties of the tool we're selecting. So currently we have a brush and you can see below when we set basic, it's the same properties just for the basic eraser and a fill. So let's look closer on them. On a brush tool, it's as we had before, so we can painting. Okay, let me select a different color right here. You can see we can paint with our brush tool. Okay, our basic is just as a simple pen tool. We also have an eraser, which allowed us to erase area we wanted. And you notice right here we have a softness and a feel that we can fill this area with selected colors as we need it. Again, currently fill is set to the color. So our options, vertical or horizontal, kind of disable. We can switch to the gradient fill. On this case, we can say if we want vertical or if we want horizontal to fill up with this. Okay, so let's go back and fill up with same color. So fill is straightforward. The eraser are same. We can have it size opacity. So let me just go modify and dry around something. Okay, we have it on the eraser. We have a size. We can increase, decrease the size. And by the way, if you're familiar with the Photoshop, your bracket key will work as well to um, the size. So it's kind of nice to have the same type of the key mapping. We have a hardness currently at zero. And again, the higher hardness, you can see right here, you can observe a little bit here, how many steps and opacity. So the 100 opacity, let's reduce step, hardness, pop up, it will erase quite a bit fast. So this is just a simple settings for the erasers, which is remember, depend which one you use. So we'll just go select slightly and have its smaller type of the brush for eraser. So our basic tool, again, this is a simple drawing pen tool and you can use it um, mouse or you can use it the Vicom pen. Um, normal, uh, the blend mode applied to the brush and basic and you notice we have a similar mode, normal, lighting and darken. Again, this is related not just to all layer, it's related just to the pen tool we're currently using. Next, again, we have a size, hardness, step, and opacity, similar to what we had with eraser. Only now we have a different blending mode. So as example, right here, this is normal mode. We can go to lighting mode, and you can notice in some areas it will apply it. So let's take opacity a little bit down on our tool, which is work similar as the um, soft light in Photoshop. And we'll give it a darken tool. Again, and it's on intersect, it's work slightly different. Anyway, this is options you can use and select for your simple brush applied. Okay, the next, what we have, it is um, from basics or a brush tool. The brush tool is have a way more complex selection for us. But it is also the same way provide a um, variety of the options we can modify and create a very unique look on those brushes. To look on some of those properties, I actually highly recommend to use a vector based so we can preview. And I'll show you in a second why. So let's go right here. We'll go create a new vector layer. And you'll notice we have it as a brush. We have flame, follow ribbon. We also have the blending mode, opacity as usual. We have a different now tools because we on a in the vector mode. In a raster mode, you don't have it. Some of these options is available to you to edit. So we'll just for we come back to them. But also this option as a size, span, soft, speed, center, focus and all other ones, they're available in a both modes. But my reason I want to use the vector because let's say right here, I'm just drawing simple lines. Now by going to this option and properties, 
modifying them as a softness and everything. I can see in real life, real time, how this properties was affecting and helping me. So without even um, reading documentations, you can visually see which one is working better for you. So it's why I say the vector is almost um, need to have options. So let's look on some of these properties what we have it. And again, all these properties will apply to the vector and to the raster type of the brush, same things, but only in a vector we can preview in live how this modification will work. Okay, the first we have it a flame mode. And the flame mode, you notice it's right here. It's our, it's a classic mode where you have it a main line and pixels, which is calculating follow the brush with some of force determined as you're doing kind of curve. The follow, again, right here, you can see how it's changed. It's more precise following the brush. So they're keeping a little bit closer with less uh, distortions going aside. And a ribbon, it is you specify flow and you can notice right here how the ribbon is affected so it is painting mode will spread a little bit more wider again think about this as a flame it's going from the center and you have a gradient from top to disappearing to the edges follow it's more a line based with the equal in the center and a ribbon it's more equally without gradient kind of going spread from beginning from edge when you're driving to far on the force so let's look next on the flame we're going to look on this properties right here how say uh, some of these options will look more closer on a vector but right now on skip and going from size space and everything size it is a brush size so we can increase how big is our brush or decrease it and you can see it just add wideness and spread again this is brush we have the wideness or a flame the follow mode as well we can then stone how many strokes will have it and as well on the ribbon we can see how wide this brush will going okay next we have a span which is um brush width um, first is the size and this is our width so we can increase you can kind of preview with a flame going okay again with a flow and with the using ribbon so in some case you also can notice it's a more detail um, with this pen applied the distance for the dots you can set as well but on this case we actually need enable mode for the lines so we can specify what is distance between lines we can supply it so for example right here you can observe how we have it far away distance so only a few or we can come a little bit closer again the same things can apply to our flame so we can add let's use pain and we can pop up sizes so you can see we can apply distance for these lines between them again this property only available if you create a separate dot if you have gradients obviously there will be just take this and creating gradients between the same points they can observe here okay next we have it soft options which is a just specify brush softness when you're drying okay so let's create right here uh, one thing it's softness and chaos in some cases they may look somewhat similar when you're using however they do represent a different values so the softness of the brush think about it's more global effect of the brush however chaos it's more minimized and closer type okay so overall right here we have our softness general softness on brush very soft and big for example or we can have it with a oops, let's size less softness a little bit more um gringy type effect okay next we have it also speed 
this is speed how fast brush is calculating in other case when you move your brush around the applications need calculated the points where you need connected so with a speed calculating with low it's set on a few points and you can see right here even it's vector but it still have it only less points that calculating when we increase our speed it's getting a little bit more precise to the brush stroke however it will create more points which is need calculated depend and this is of course will depend on the what you're going after just simple strokes you maybe want to do with less speed or if you want to create a little bit more um, distortion or kind of more interesting precise you may increase speed of this as well okay next we have a center and center is a global force so what does meaning by global force it is things right here the our middle lane it's my path when it's going and when an application work it's try to calculating how to forces apply for disturbance on this brush by modifying center value i the application to create closer to the my stroke or allowed more flexibility in a particle so i can go all the way to the center and you can see right here how i have it very nice um force going almost not to the center so they're very flexible in this case and again um, let's go to the center right here you can see same things will apply to our flow or to our ribbon so let me switch ribbon to this case and right here you can see it's applied closer to the center even on the ribbon and when we allowed flow from the center so it's more spread out in this case and if center is our global force we also have the focus which apply local force to this point so on this with modifying on a focus we can apply to points of the local and small points to this so combination right here let's bring and you can see with modifying of these points and a force applied to more precise and local instead of global larger scale okay let's look on a flame again here's our focus and you can see how it's applied closer to the um our line and center is outside so let's think this focus it will take the precision apply closer to the line when i draw outside the line and a center will take you see this outside the line and apply the far away particles or line drawing so the focus it's how closer i want to um, my shape stay to my path and center it's how far away this will go so hopefully this kind of explain how these two properties work together inner and outer okay but when you work you want to add some randomness in this to add randomness you have two properties chaos and noise chaos it will add more on a global scale kind of effect when a noise more add on a local and smaller so you can see right here how it will work so again our chaos look on this larger scale gradients kind of going the difference okay okay let me just increase and right now if we're going with the noise you can see the noise applying into uh, smaller details so it's kind of uh, more details and a more global effect so it's just again combine both of them you can achieve interesting effects again this is on the floor this is on our ribbon and you know what let's make this ribbon kind of more interesting okay we'll go right here okay we'll go to the cows again we're going to start on a global scale kind of applied and our noise will apply on more local scale effect okay overall we have it also fade which allowed to our brush how much it's fade um, 
from beginning to end and you can see right here the timing scene just look on this two different areas so we'll go and apply you notice fading right in these areas okay different between this it's probably a little bit more smoother effect um, and we also have it next details which allow the set quality of details um, the higher details the better effect will be but it will take a little bit longer time to respond in its render um, you want probably use the higher details for the larger canvas so it will smoothly a bit nicer and create it less those edgy jagging and speaking about those edges and the steps you have a new anti-aliasing options so you have a normal and you also have a super the super one is supposed to create much smoother and nicer and in some cases we can look a little bit closer okay then let me adjust right here okay and you can see the edges how it's going with the normal and right here we have it super anti aliasing which is great kind of nicer look so right here some of the properties we overview um, let's continue exploring these applications and we have a little bit more properties to go through uh, in next tutorial